G'day everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another one of my EV Realist videos. In this series I seek to inject a note of sanity into the breathless hysteria of net zero and the transition to EVs that's currently being spruiked by our various governments around the world. So if you like this kind of content it would be great to have you as a subscriber and don't forget to enable all notifications so you never miss another video. In this episode we're going to revisit the issue of EV battery fires and I'm going to share with you a couple of examples that really demonstrate just how much of a problem this is going to get in the very near future. The EV fanboys will of course tell you that there are far more internal combustion engine fires than there are EV fires, but that's really only because there are a gazillion more ICE cars on the road than EVs. Unlike an internal combustion engine fire which can be put out easily with water, EV batteries burn at incredibly high temperatures, they release tons of toxic chemicals and they do not require any atmospheric oxygen, meaning the usual firefighting techniques which seek to cool the fire and remove the supply of oxygen just don't work on EVs. So in this first article we're going to look at a Tesla that appears to have just randomly and spontaneously caught fire driving along a suburban road. So the headline reads... Tesla burns in Modesto, here's new process firefighters use to handle it safely. An electric car fire in Modesto on Monday morning resulted in the fire department isolating the vehicle away from the city for three weeks, fire officials said. Firefighters responded to the call at about 8.15am and found a red Tesla fully engulfed near the intersection of Carver Road and Roseburg Avenue, near homes and businesses according to an incident summary. Crews isolated and protected the structures as they worked to extinguish the fire, which couldn't be handled the way a gasoline fueled vehicle would be, Deputy Chief Darren Jesberg said. The initial flames were put down by traditional firefighting methods, meaning water hoses, Jesberg said, but the vehicle needed to be loaded into a metal bin and taken out of the city to a secure location because electric vehicles can retain their charge for up to three weeks. I think actually it's a lot longer than that, but anyway. During that time frame, they still have the potential to reignite or even explode, he said. EVs have the potential to smolder or arc after a fire, according to Jesberg. So let's take a look at some video from the Modesto Fire Department. Wow, that is really intense. Ooh, car got a little hot. Incredibly dangerous. Wow, and there's nothing left. Well, half of it left, the front half. So apart from the gallons of toxic uh, waste that has now been released into the environment, that car is now going to have to be taken away, stored safely away from any other cars, and then dismantled and recycled bit by bit. Every one of the 7,000 lithium-ion cells in that car battery is going to have to be carefully dismantled and recycled or else it could easily catch fire at some unspecified time in the future and cause further damage and that's exactly what happened in the second example where a tesla was sitting at a wrecker's yard after having been flooded and uh, suddenly decided to uh, catch fire uh, threatening a number of other vehicles and property nearby on Twitter, Sacramento Fire Department said, crews responded for a vehicle fire at a high-end auto dismantler. The vehicle was involved in an accident. They later corrected it to a flood several months ago and was sitting idle when it spontaneously caught fire in the yard. Crews are unable to move it to a safe location to burn out. The vehicle is blocked in and surrounded by millions of dollars in salvage vehicles, including Ferraris, Lamborghinis and Bentleys. So this is just another two examples of how difficult it's going to be to deal with EV batteries when EVs are involved in accidents or floods or other kinds of incidents. Once those cells are damaged, they can move swiftly into what's called thermal runaway, uh, where one cell becomes so hot that it triggers uh, other cells in the battery to start catching fire and the whole process escalates until the entire battery is on fire. And it releases a bunch of toxic gases, uh, which themselves are flammable, and it can cause what's called a vapor cloud explosion, um, where a cloud of gas is released from the battery, which then uh, catches fire extremely rapidly and causes an explosion. We have a tiny number of EVs on our roads at the moment, and yet we see these kind of videos almost every week. And so as the number of EVs gets larger and larger, this is only going to get harder and harder for fire departments to deal with. And it's going to be a major problem uh, for EVs going forward. 
So anyway, that's just about it for this video. Uh, thanks for watching. Really hope you enjoyed it. Uh, drop a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Uh, if you've got any tips, you can hit me up on Instagram or by email. I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye for now.